Today in our 2012 Dodge Journey, we'll be looking at our best trailer wiring options. All right, we have two options here today. Both of these options are for Dodge Journeys that have LED tail lights. If you have incandescent tail lights, which are just standard light bulbs, we have different options available for you on our website. Right over here to the right is the Takansha T1 connector, part number 118536. To the left is the Kurt custom vehicle to trailer wiring harness, part number C56154. Both of our wiring harnesses here give us a standard four pole flat connector to hook up to our trailer. Now what this four pole flat connector will do is give you the lighting functions that are required by law to safely tow a trailer. The Kurt here has six amps for the tail light or running light circuit of power being provided, whereas our Takansha has seven and a half amps. An amp and a half may not sound like a lot, but that could be an additional 10 light bulbs on your trailer. Both of our wiring harnesses have module boxes here, which will isolate our trailer wiring from our vehicle's lighting system. That way, if you possibly have a short or a back feeding of voltage on your trailer, it won't cause any damage or harm to your expensive lighting circuitry on your vehicle. Now, both of our boxes will attach to our vehicle using double-sided tape that's included. Our Takansha already has some that's installed on it, but in its hardware kit, you'll find another piece in case you need it. The Kurt comes with it as well. It only comes with one piece though. Now both of our modules are designed to be mounted behind the driver's side or the left side tail light. And they are both needing to have a power wire run directly to the battery so you can supply power to your module using the included fuse holders. The Takansha uses a 15 amp fuse, whereas our Kurt uses a 10 amp fuse. So your Takansha will support higher loads for lighting. So if your trailer has a lot of incandescent lights or a lot of LED lights on it, you may want to go towards the Takansha one just because it has the ability to support more amperage for your trailer lighting. Our Takansha has a built-in dust cover already attached to it. Just folds over like this to keep any dust, dirt, or debris or moisture out, possibly causing a short. Our Kurt comes with a dust cover right here that you can attach just by sliding it over the wire. Go back behind the connector itself here. Then it'll fold back over and protect your connector just like the other one does. Now both of our modules connect in the same way. They both have a separate connector that plugs in line both of them have enough green wire. This will go over to your right side turn signal. It'll run behind the bumper cover. Both of our boxes will need to be grounded to the vehicle's chassis using an included self-tapping screw in the kit. Both of our kits come with the fuse holders, your installation hardware you need, such as the rain terminal to go to your battery post. There are butt connectors that you need to extend your wire and some zip ties to secure all the wiring along the way underneath your vehicle. All right, we're on our Dodge Journey that we have here today, we have the Takansha installed in our vehicle right now. If you want to mount it in a different location where your four pole rests, if you want to put it on your driver's side of your vehicle or over on your passenger side of the vehicle or on your hitch bracket, if your hitch so has a wiring harness bracket here, you have plenty of room on either one of the wiring harnesses in order to put it where you want uh, along your bumper of your vehicle. Now for my personal preference, now if you're just going to tow a trailer occasionally, either one of these wiring harnesses will work fine for you. But if you're going to be towing a trailer more often and or you own one with a lot of lighting on it, the Takansha will be a better option for you because it's more rugged and it has more power output. So if you have a lot of running lights on it, this would be a good way to go for you. And that completes our look at the best trailer wiring options for the Dodge Journey. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.